Hey, what's going on guys? Moth Marauder here, and for today's figure review video, we're going to be taking a look at the Siege Leader Class Ultra Magnus figure from the Netflix War for Cybertron series. So anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Now, when it comes to uh, the vehicle form, Ultra Magnus here, for those of you that don't know, uh, turns into a a car carrier truck of some sort as you can see by like the the blue bar looking things right here on the sides and when it comes to like uh, accuracy and uh, and all that shit um from what I remember this seems to be pretty accurate although honestly I don't recall Ultra Magnus being in his vehicle form that much but nonetheless, this looks pretty neat, you know? You have like the wheels and shit. Uh, the front right there, the windows, that nice turquoise cyan color. So, yeah. Here's what it looks like on the bottom. So, yeah. Here's the back. And there's his feet for his robot form. This blue thing's at the bottom there. Here's what it looks like at the top. Got like, some reds. You know, stuff right there. Uh, more red, another red thing right here. So, I'm guessing these are supposed to be like the uh, smokestacks or exhaust pipes or whatever. But yeah, that's pretty much it for his vehicle form. It's pretty nice and all that. So let's go ahead and take a look at his first robot form. All right, now here he is in his first robot form. Or at least his robot form without, like, his uh, armor or whatever. But yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at this version of Ultra Magnus first. Now, um, like, the sculpture and all that is really well done. Like I mentioned earlier, the, the front here, like, the chest and the windows and all that shit looks nice. Uh, the legs, nicely sculpted along the hands. There. The face nicely sculpted. You have this part here, which is uh, the f the bumper of the tr truck for his vehicle form. Very nicely detailed. There's the back of his legs. So the sculpt and detail on this uh, figure is really well done, like for this uh, version of Ultra Magnus. Now when it comes to paint job, um, well, as you can see, he's mostly white with some blue in some areas, like in the chest, uh, the mouth part here, part of his forehead right here, uh, has some gray, and, like the arms there, or at least where they move anyways. You have the red for the Autobot emblem, symbol, whatever. Yeah, some blue here. Tires black and stuff. And you have some yellow right here on the top. So yeah, the paint job's pretty neat. All right, so we've taken a look at Ultra Magnus without his armor on. So let's go ahead and take a look at Ultra Magnus with his armor on. All right, here is Ultra Magnus wearing his armor now. So yeah. Pretty damn cool, isn't he? So anyways, let's go ahead and, and review him in his armored form or whatever. Now, um, when it comes to accuracy and shit, this is really accurate to how he was betrayed in the siege, uh, in the siege uh, part of the War for Cybertron series. And it's really accurate to his G1 counterpart as well. And when it comes to like uh, the sculpt and all that, um, it's still, like, it's still really good, you know? Like, there's a shit ton of, like, detail and all that. Like, on his chest here. Um, the face. Uh, these things here. These little things sticking out of his shoulders. The legs here, really nicely done with detail and all that. back here very nicely done 
really nicely done with like the sculpt and all that stuff. That's the back of the legs. So yeah, the uh, the sculpt on this the sculpting on this figure is really really well done, and uh, the paint job same thing. It's really accurate to uh, his appearance in that siege uh, segment of War of Cybertron, and it's fairly accurate to his G1 counterpart as well. He has this uh, blue, red, and white all over the body, and it looks really nice. The eyes are a lighter shade of blue compared to the rest of the blue on him. And uh, there's his uh, uh, chest there. It's also blue. It could be the same shade of blue as his eyes, but I don't know. Uh, his horns here are silver, which looks neat. You have some red on his uh, legs there, which looks neat. Look cool and all that shit. So that's pretty much it for paint job. Now, before I get onto articulation and shit, let me show you the accessories Ultra Magnus came with. Here are the first ones. These are his blasters. They look pretty neat. They're pretty well done with a sculpt and shit. Here's the other side. Have some silver inside the tip there. Here's what he looks like with his blasters equipped. Looks pretty cool in my opinion. Although to be honest, the blasters are a fucking pain in the ass to to go or to be equipped or whatever. Or at least for my figure anyways. Here's uh, his other blaster, or rifle, or whatever. Really cool design, in my opinion. I like, uh, I like how it's designed. Like right here, it looks really neat. But yeah, the sculpt, the sculpting on this accessory is really well done. The inside, the inside of the tip or whatever is, or the inside of it is red, which looks neat. Here's what he looks like, equipped with his blaster, or at least a uh, second accessory or whatever. Looks really damn cool in my opinion. And here are his last accessories he comes with. These little missile, launch, missile launcher looking things, or rockets or whatever. And here's uh, what the rockets or whatever look like equipped on Ultra Magnus. Looks pretty neat. Although I personally prefer having these things unequipped on Ultra Magnus. But they still look cool though nonetheless. Now when it comes to articulation, since he's a Transformers figure, he's obviously going to have a lot. Such as the arms and shit moving 360. Like that. You know, the basics and all that bullshit. Bends at the elbows, he twists at the wrists or hands or whatever. Like that. You can, move. You can rotate at the waist. Head moves up and down like that. Can rotate 360. The legs move like that. And they can bend at the knees. Arms can also fold up and down like that. Same thing with the legs. Now before uh, I get to rarity, let me show you guys how fucking big this figure is. I mean, holy shit, it's goddamn tall. Here's Siege Optimus again. So yeah. See what I mean? Ultra Magnus is fucking huge. But uh, this is actually really accurate. Ultra Magnus is supposed to be really big. 
so it's fitting that he's a leader class figure. Uh, now, just for shits and giggles, I'll pull out a couple of kaiju figures, again to show you how tall this Ultra Magnus figure is. First, NECA's 2003 Godzilla. See what I mean? Ultra Magnus with his armor on is fucking huge. I mean, goddamn. And lastly, here is Bandai's Monsagar from Ultraman Dyna. Holy shit. And I thought Monsagar was a big ass figure, but no. Ultra Magnus himself even like dwarfs Monsagar. And now when it comes to rarity, um, since Magnus is part of the Siege toy line, he should be a little bit more difficult to find. And as well as being a lot more expensive, especially since he's a leader class figure. I mean, seriously, like, uh, I've heard that Siege Jetfire is like a hundred something dollars. So it wouldn't surprise me if Ultra Magnus is now like a hundred dollars since he's like an older figure now. So like I've said many times before in my videos, if you can't find this guy at all at your local store, then I recommend getting this on Amazon. And that's pretty much it for this review. Detail and paint job is amazing. He has, a little, he has a lot of articulation. And for rarity, he should be a little bit more rare compared to the Kingdom and Earthrise figures. Kingdom especially. But yeah, it should be a little bit more rare and expensive. But yeah, like I said, you're uh, you're most likely to find him on Amazon. But yeah, in the end, I'd have to give Ultra Magnus here a 5 out of 5. This is a really, really nice figure of Ultra Magnus. And in my opinion, it's easily one of the best Siege figures. But yeah, that's just me though. But yeah, Ultra Magnus is awesome. I'm happy to have an Ultra Magnus figure, and I hope you guys enjoyed this review video. Once again, that's a 5 out of 5, and I'll see you guys in the next video.